Well, hello there. <laughs> Good morning. It is Sunday today and uh, I have not done any sound check, so I hope everything is okay. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, I was about to play the News and Burp family, but uh, the the Tinker family is expecting a child and I really want to see it before I switch. And here is Wanda. She is paying some really overdue bills. She is thinking to herself, just running a, a little small shop back here whilst <laughs> trying to get six children to marry off that she wants for her lifetime wish is really not that sustainable when they have this big house uh, to take care of. Like the, the income from this shop does not cover it at all. The only reason she is able to pay these overdue bills is that uh, they, it, it was just Monday and they just received all this child uh, benefits from this, from the, state or you know whatever <laughs> the city council gives uh any family 1000 simoleons each monday for each uh dependent that is living with them at that point and they have two children so they got 2000 simoleons and they could pay these bills but now they only have 400 left and they still have almost 2,000 of bills left to pay and it's really, they need to move to a smaller place or, you know, I think what's going to, to happen is that Steven is going to try and find his dream job because he has a lifetime wish to become a captain hero but as it is now he will take any job he can find actually because they they really have a, an issue with the cash flow uh, the business is okay um, it, it's not great it's still at rank zero so they they really need to um, to fix this and yeah she can pay the bills and also i need to make sure they don't starve to death because they keep being so hungry and someone is on the phone uh melody tinker is over here <clears throat> she uh, she loves sports she uh, that's her true hobby and she brought home Rosemary from school today, but she really, she wants to get an A plus report card and she's so close. Uh, she only didn't get it today because her motives were too low. <laughs> she was already in an A, she had done her homework, but her motives were too low. So she got still not an A plus. Uh, which one will feed you? <laughs> And I think I'm gonna try and have everybody eat a bit, except Melody. Melody can answer the phone. I finally got her fun up. She was like in the red for fun for so long. They don't have a TV, <laughs> so that's, that's a <laughs> challenge. Hey Melody, is Wanda available to talk? Well, yeah, I bet, I guess, sure. She's not doing anything. I'm just trying to get her motives up. And he is not in the mood to get a job because he doesn't have enough fun. So he can go up here and play with... <coughs> well, he was, wants to play peekaboo with her, her. So let's try and do that then. And he's still not in the mood. <laughs> let's try that. I think, like... I have already peeked at this, but we have uh, we have like 10 hours left. All right. Okay, well, I'm gonna, this is gonna be the, the Tinker family stream. Tinker family. <laughs> it's getting a baby. Oops. 
gonna edit the, the stream info because I don't think we're gonna get to the burbs um, or the, the news and burbs. Uh, and the reason for this is that my daughter <laughs> has said that I can only stream for half an hour. Uh, we'll see. I, I told her she'd come in here and tell me when to stop <laughs> when she's done eating breakfast and uh, doing her morning routine. So, <laughs> so we'll see when she comes. So, but I, I think we're just gonna come to terms with the fact that we're not seeing the burbs today, which means like, okay, so we're seeing this baby, but you know, Ginger is also pregnant because it was just summer, you know, and everyone was acting a little bit crazy and I have a lot of babies coming now. So I think I'm gonna try, I don't know, uh, but I think like it's fall now and why is it three days left in fall? Should it be that? No, it should be two days. Oh well. I adjusted their their time and I don't think I did it right. Set season two. Oh, oops. Uh, set season length. I think it should be. No, it should be two. I think it should be four actually in fifth Tuesday. I don't know. <laughs> I'll just have to adjust it later again. It's it's fine. She does not like the adjuster. I'm sorry, I'll remove it. We don't need to have it there. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Wanda. Is she Wanda? Yes, okay. So this family, I wasn't actually going to... Where, what are you doing now? Are you going to play ball? But you're dirty and tired. Why? <laughs> why? Why did you want to do this? I don't know. Well, um... Okay, well... <sighs> Melody is in a good mood. She can do her homework. And uh, Steven, could you, like... Play peekaboo. I don't know what happened last time. Everyone is so tired all the time. I don't understand this house. <laughs> Everything is awful all the time. Um, everyone's needs are it gets bad. I don't know why. Is it too? Maybe it's too big. Maybe they need to walk like vast spaces and they get tired. Maybe that is what is going on. And now everyone got a little bit older too. So Stephen is 51 wanda is 49 oh dear she she's gonna have to do a move on if she's gonna manage six kids okay melody is 14 and ursula is now four and she grows up in just one day and um, i i think i'm gonna, just gonna wait for it because it doesn't go too well Oh, well, that, that was fast. <laughs> All right, now put her to bed. <laughs> well, they, got, they became best friends and <laughs> he has sat down. Peekaboo, done. <laughs> Fantastic, what is Wanda doing? All right, okay. Well, shouldn't you go to bed though? Like, if this was The Sims 4, she would be sleeping. No, 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 no. She would be sleeping in the bathtub, but I think we can just send her to have a bubble bath and then sleep. And Steven is very tired. Let's have him sleep too. There's baby coming soon. All right, her fun ended. Okay, well, could you, could you play with Rosemary? there okay so i wasn't going to play th this family because uh i have families it, it's quite sufficient <laughs> like but then benjamin burb uh decided it was a good idea to kiss um, melody here so i thought maybe they will end up together and she cannot stay in her like current age we will have to grow her up. So I started playing this family 
which uh, I should have put them in unplayed, but now <laughs> I have started to play them and I feel bad to just put them in an unplayed state. Um, oh well, that's that's what happened. So yeah, okay. So you are not having fun enough, so that you don't want to have fun. Is that right? Well, if we play and toss football because she seems to be liking football yeah so uh, all the families that was in uh, blue water village i just put them in like sort of a non acting state until i need more sims but then like melody got involved so so they got played what am I going to do with you? Can you play on playground? Wait, will that make you happy? She could play video games, but the computer is in her family, uh, in her parents' bedroom. Oh, she has a her she has a a um, computer of her own, so she could use that, I guess. It's, it's so annoying that they won't do the thing that I know will raise their fun because they're not having fun enough. It's it's very annoying. Oh my goodness. This was not a good idea. Okay, wake up. Go to bed. Never mind the bath. You can be dirty. I don't care. <laughs> goodness. And in this family... We have this issue that we do not have grandparents for these two. So I cannot, like, I could name the kids after Ron and Lauren and Damien and Autumn. But, oh, Autumn would be nice since it is Autumn. But uh, I I think, like, I'm going to save that for when, <laughs> for when their kids, like, Melody and little Ursula here has kids. So what I have done is I have checked my spreadsheets and looked at what letters all the other sims names start with. Wait, can I move this too? No, no, this is not movable. Okay. Uh, <laughs> someone posted uh, the other day that, look, you can move these like, I think, I don't know what it was, they, they, some, some, like this, you can move this. <laughs> and they were fascinated and I, I started like, okay, so what, what boxes can we move? <laughs> I haven't paid attention. Anyway, so we are on letter H, it turns out. So uh, we are going to name the child either if it's a girl it's gonna be hannah and if it's a boy it's gonna be henry uh, and i decided this by just googling <clears throat> names on that letter only i googled in swedish so it tends to be <laughs> a little bit more on the swedish side but and it's maybe that's weird because it's the tinker family but i think hannah and henry is not that you know weird for them okay she went home I don't know why they saw did I not do this I did do this all right well since why, why, do, why did I do this? Okay, so what I usually do is I look at their lifetime want. And if it's uh, like work related, I, I go this tree up. But I think I didn't stop that soon enough. And then when you fill this up, you fill the um, this tree up because it's the special one for your aspiration. And, and then obviously when 
obviously. Well, according to my rule, when you have unlocked eight benefits, you are uh, the ninth benefit is your secondary aspiration. Uh, so, I, right. So Wanda's life and wish is to marry off six children. And she's really close to elder, so I'm actually gonna give her the super fertility. I usually don't do that, but there I did it. <laughs> but I don't think she's gonna be an elder in six days, and she is like on her third pregnancy. How is she gonna be able to plop out six children? There's gonna be have to be uh, adoptions involved, I think. But in order for them to adopt, they need an extra bed, which they don't have, and an extra thousand simoleons to pay for the process, which they don't have. <laughs> so there will be none of that, uh, unfortunately. The orphanage is, is spilling over and could really use some extra uh, families to adopt. But it, it, it's it's just not in in the stars. Look at the stars. Oh, look at the twinkle. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I can look at this all day. It's so beautiful. Anyway. <laughs> We're not here to look at the sky. But we could. Okay, you need to stop because you're gonna pee your pants and then you have to sleep apparently But then when you have done that, please try and make and do your homework And also I need to get a parent up because the child Has needs She needs to do a toilet. Can you like oh my goodness? Let's just empty that and try and get her potty, tra potty trained. I don't think we're gonna succeed in that. I don't even know what her wants is. She wants to reach creativity level 3. I'm gonna lock that in. Uh, and we played with by Steven. And also we played with by Wanda, but Wanda is... is <laughs> I don't know. She needs to take that bubble bath when she's done sleeping. I don't remember what time I said we were. We had ten hours left, so I don't know when the baby's gonna come now. Oh well, it's fine. Also, uh, Melody keeps getting wants to go to college, but she is only 14 years old now, so she will not uh, be going for a while. But she wants that. She wants that A plus report card. She is already a private school student. She is very driven. She is a knowledge sim, so I have no doubt in my mind that she will be going to college probably already when she's 18 so but I think she needs to help out more in the store but you know everyone is so <laughs> I can't I can't get them to open the store because there's so much you know he's low on fun again so he maybe play xxx what is it? SSX. Some kind of sports game. Well, actually, his hobby is... Uh, what is it? Film and literature. Literature. So, let's have him read a mystery book. Because he liked that last time. I think that's going to be beneficial. Oh, and also, I hate that song now. Uh, can we switch to something like... Soft and nice. Uh, I 
couldn't you have like something they're also <laughs> you know maybe sh the sh shopping one is going to be like a, a, a bit calmer I don't know let's see what we get you could actually put your own mp3s in, in and have the sims 2 play that for you but who has mp3s anymore <laughs> I don't know and also if I do that on stream and I put it on YouTube I need to credit whoever gets played and I can't I just can't so I think these are safe oh no wait the sims 1 music is that safe I don't I don't know I'll go I'm gonna get a copyright claim because of music because you know I'm providing such uh, oh my goodness she's going to pee her pants oh and she's also going to starve to death I can't with my pregnant sims and the starving <laughs> It used to be that you could just like the music music used to be a source of enjoyment but nowadays it's just uh, if you have uh, music anywhere you get this bad feeling that you're doing something wrong and they just <laughs> I don't oh my goodness but I like I do like the music itself, but I don't understand why why we can't have it on stream. Like you hearing this, you gonna like not buy their records anymore, even though you would have otherwise. I don't. Anyway, yeah. Let let's just turn the music off, sh shall we? Because I can't deal with it so um, and then I, I would love for him to keep reading that same book but I don't know if that's possible let's just pretend it's the same book it looks the, like the same book oh no Ursula is skin and bones she's not though okay oh finally <laughs> finally the little baby is here Oh my goodness. Imagine if this was the process that we uh, did as as the human race when we were uh, multiplying. <laughs> that, that would be something. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, you, you know, standing, giving birth, standing up. Yeah, I would. <laughs> Let's see the little one. Here you go. Nobu. And it has blue eyes. Do they both have blue eyes? Oh, and it's a little Hannah. I'm gonna put an H at the end. That That's ethnic. I don't know. <laughs> Look at that. She is so cute. No, no. Wrong button combination. I am just taking a picture. Don't mind me. There we go. There. They have a little Hannah now. And she is in platinum. Which means she she is going to pursue her lifetime want, which is having six children married off. Which means she first have to have six children, so she's going to be going up over here and relax. Um, and yeah, Stephen is not in platinum yet, but he. You will have to come over here and work. <laughs> they need to produce one more. 
join, ask Steven to join and he can stop with the enjoyment to do other enjoyments, of course. So yeah, let's do the woohoos. Their bedroom, by the way, it's the, I would never, this, this is not cozy at all, peoples, but I don't have money to, to decorate, so they will just have to have it like this. So Wanda is trying for baby, and I'm noting in my spreadsheet that she has tried for baby one on Wednesday because I restrict them to only try once each day. But she has now the super fertility trait. What does it that actually exactly do? Uh, it is you or your partner have a greatly increased chance of giving birth to twins when becoming pregnant. Okay, so, so she's not actually more fertile. She's just more... She, she might have twins. That's that's all. I thought it would like also make her ha be become pregnant easier. We'll see. She's getting quite old. So they are. Uh, their flame is on fire. <laughs> so their relationship is not wanting for anything. Now Stephen. He doesn't have any want to have any more children. It's just one that wants it. So we're not going to try from his side too. And now Melody is in a bad mood again. We'll have something to eat. You'll feel better. Get these leftovers. What are you doing now? She's going to hold the baby. Yeah, we need another one of these. Th this is... And also, who put... <laughs> who put the wallpapers up here i i don't understand i think that this might have been a gym when my, i started this game actually no we can sell this gym equipment nobody seems to be using it so we'll have a little bit of money what are you doing <laughs> Oh, well, I thought she might. Oh, okay. You you should get a bottle for uh, Ursula. Get bottle for Ursula. There you go. Well, um, it is Wednesday morning, so we could... I, I mean, I want to switch to the Burb household. Um, so, John Burb is... I'm going to do it, too. Um... I hope you enjoy this. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna put, I'm just gonna note in my spread. I can't spell Wednesday. Oh, it's like that. There you go. So, uh, they are living in Pleasant View, of course. And John Burb left Jennifer Burb. Um, to be with Ginger Newsom, and um, he took the youngest child with him because it was him that wanted the child that Jennifer really just did, wanted. So this is the Burb house, but we have Jennifer and Benjamin living in here, and I think I was thinking about uh, renaming Jennifer because if we look in the, the family tree, I have this page here. <laughs> we can find Jennifer in it. Um, and she was a pleasant before she married John. And now that they're divorced, she might like return <laughs> to her former state of being a pleasant. But we're not playing her her right now we are playing the news and verb family so I, I should fix this household in simpe but not not right now and they actually just got a little baby in there 
called Bruno, but that is the son of Brittany uh, and Gavin. Gavin is the adoptive brother to uh, Ginger. <laughs> and I don't understand why all the Newsons are uh, have names on G, but I don't. I don't know, maybe that was something their adoptive parents was doing. Like, um, It's unclear. But in here, we might be setting us up for some chaos. Uh, John has turned into an elder because he has lived quite a long life. And now he wants to see a relative get married or a relative get engaged. And he also wants to boohoo in bed. Um, and maybe I lock the engagement thing and try and woohoo in the bed. Maybe, maybe so. Maybe that's what we do. Um, but right now, I think he needs to take care of Juliet over here. Uh, how old Juliet? And I need to check the family tree in here because <laughs> it has gone gotten messy. Okay, so Juliet is the daughter of Ginger and John. And she was actually conceived before the divorce. Uh, and But she was born after... No, she was actually born before the, their marriage. But she has not now gotten the burb name because... John recognizes that it is his child and he has married Ginger so she is Ginger Burb now yeah so the, that's what going on John has quite a lot of children he has five children and one more on the way and he has two grandchildren Diana and Gunther Goth living on over in the goth mansion at the moment but they're not heirs to the goth mansion because uh, Alexander is the second child born to Mortimer and Bella as we all know so that is maybe beside the point but that that's the, the lore in my game <laughs> so far uh, we have monies in the bank uh, so this family is actually doing quite all right, but they neglected to paint this wall, <laughs> it seems. I was doing some remodeling because uh, this house was, it, it, it doesn't look very good, but it didn't look like it was hard to navigate as well because they get got stuck here like it was only one tile like all the way here and here so I extended the the house a little bit so that they can meet here because there are so many now so they they frequently get stuck in a traffic jam <laughs> also why is why is it like this I should move this door over because because I think we should oops I think we should have it there instead and put this phone there because oh, I need to stop with the move ob objects off wait okay I haven't given this the, the money for the children. They have three children right now. So we're going to do three kachings. Kaching. One, two, three. And that, that was nice for them. And then I'm going to mark in my spreadsheet that these children has been compensated for their existence by the government. <laughs> Let's save before I forget. And um, yeah, they're not wanting for money at all. I think 
I'm contemplating uh, splitting this family up, but but I'm not going to, I think. What I will do is we, we need to stash some money away so that we don't get crazy bills. So we, I will have Ginger. Uh, where is bank online? Oh, maybe we want to have bank online on that computer. We have it on this computer because we need the right computer. Uh, deposit, she could deposit 2000 of that money they just got and Brittany could take the other. Maybe I, I do that. Like I always give it to the mother. That would be interesting. I don't know. There's going to be a... <laughs> <laughs> she she will have to wait, I think. Well, no, Ginger is sleeping, so it's fine. Um, bank online deposit. So she got one thousand because she has just one child. Yeah, that that will be fine. What are the incomes? So Brittany and Ginger both they don't work. But the gentlemen are working and they're bringing in, they're bringing in money. So maybe we can afford to like hire some help in here. Should we have a butler even? That would be a step up. But maybe I, hmm, sometimes I wait until they have a want for doing that. Hmm, I don't know. Oh my goodness, they're like John, Ginger and Brittany is their all family aspirations in. So this house might get full of children at some point. Do they have a lot in the bank account? Well, no, it's okay. So Brittany had now has four thousand in her bank account. Where's Brittany? There you go. And she wants to learn anger management, and I'm gonna have her study that. Um, where is it? There, because I've been having a lot of fighting in my neighborhood, <laughs> and if you do public fighting. And you got get seen by someone that doesn't really like you. Uh, then, then you get reported to the government. Like it, the fighting is really disruptive. So, oh, she doesn't want to because the the floor is dirty. So, okay, I'm gonna call a butler, uh, call service, because I think they can afford it. We'll see. <laughs> because it will certainly help. They have always had um, quite quite the, the mess. They seem to have a nanny coming. All right, okay. But I'm I'm still gonna uh, get a butler. Well, we'll see how it goes. Uh, do you wish my assistance? Yes, come here, help me. <laughs> uh, the house is in the disarray and I can't anymore. They have two incomes, which is kind of okay. So it, it, it should it should work, I think. But the the girls here, they just want to stay home and get give birth to babies. It seems I don't know. <laughs> Oh well. Oh, I never added Hannah to the spreadsheet, did I? Oh well. I need to do that before I forget. Where is the Tinker family? I'm just gonna put Hannah Tinker.
there they are. And I can sort out all her, her thingies later, but yeah. It was bugging me that she was not in the spreadsheet. <laughs> there we go. I am quite capable of performing the services of all the other hired help. Do you wish me to dismiss them? Maybe we do that. I'd like, um, I, uh, I, I think it's a lie, but we might do it anyway. Ah, I don't know. Maybe we try that because I haven't seen it myself. I have only gone on what Pleasant Sim said. So maybe we do that. And like that will save money, I guess. And they got Luke Knight. It's the same butler that we have. In the golf house, how can he be there and here at the same time? It doesn't make any sense. Oh well. So did he actually fire the nanny? I don't know. Anyway, John is very happy. All right, his lifetime want is to become education minister. And he is uh, on his way, but he needs a cleaning skill point. So, but he has to went to work, so I can't work on that. Um, Gavin also wants to uh, excel at work, but he has all his skill points already, so I will not do anything. And it, now he's going to go hold a youngster for some reason. I mean, it is his son, so it's strange that he put him up here because I... Okay, well... They're all helping out with the children, so it's it's fine. The this family could technically adopt a child, uh, and Gavin, being adopted himself, he might he might do that and now he's going to go relax all right okay well what I usually do when we're adopting I think they're gonna adopt a child it's it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome <laughs> so we look at the orphanage in my spreadsheet and we go everyone that is child or older and then I randomize three of them, but maybe this time. Yeah, I'm gonna. We could just randomize one of them and just say it, it's gonna be that one. Because I do the whole thing where I, I summon three of them and I talk to them, but maybe this family doesn't have time for that you know but they have the extra bed already so we can just um look at the spreadsheet we have sheila marshall lester dalmar jr and seth we also have cena and jadira but there are they are toddlers so you gotta pay extra for that and i don't think this family will i don't think wait Okay, so <laughs> we have, what is it? It's one, two, three, four, five. You know what? Maybe I, maybe I, maybe I randomize through all the children and they are seven. And if it, if it becomes one of the toddlers, we get one of the toddlers. We were we are going to let fate decide and I'm sorry that my face turns all white when I do this but I don't I can't help it. We get the number five, so we count here one, two, three, four, five, and we get little Seth Dreamer. So we are going to uh, summon if I can find them, where's the orphanage? 
summon orphanage and we're su summoning Shelby because she's the intendant. She she's gonna bring the child over. And we are summoning did I say Seth? I think I said Seth. Seth to over here. Seth Dreamer was taken from the Goth mansion when Cassandra died, tragically. It was a whole mess. <laughs> So uh, we are going to talk to Shelby. You know what? Maybe. Okay. Well, okay. He's busy. So maybe. <laughs> Where did they go? Did they go away? Okay. There they are. Okay. 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 Ginger is going to, to manage this. <laughs> Because they, they are busy, uh, getting busy. <laughs> I, I, I want to let them. We are going to talk to Shelby. And you don't need to bother with putting the money away. Because it's already too late. We already got the bills, I think. Uh, maybe we didn't. Maybe we... Oh my, oh my goodness. Well... Um, sorry. Well, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that first because I think the bills are gonna be substantially more if we have them out when the bill comes. So I'm just gonna have a chat with her. But I'm just gonna quickly put the money away. What are you two doing? They're making out. <laughs> All right, and Ginger now has 6,400 in her bank account. Uh, I'm gonna put that over here. Ginger, 6,400. There you go. I just need to note it. The game does keep track of it, but I don't trust uh, that is always going to be there and also also uh sometimes sometimes a sim dies but uh ginger is not gonna die but you know she might you don't know and then it's handy to know how much money she had so i can like distribute that like to her children usually so oh my goodness this is a perfect picture of um I don't know what it is all really because it's kind of messy. Okay. Also, I need to make sure the plumb bob isn't there. At least we're getting some other UI thingies, but I can't be bothered to remove them. So Ginger is talking to Shelby and saying, yeah, I would like to adopt a child and Shelby has selected Seth let's let's say <laughs> or you know you pay 2,000 instead of 1,000 because uh, you didn't go through the the process of having the three kids over and like having the suitable thing so yeah that that's the rules that I have made up So we are going to move Seth Dreamer in with us. There you go. Don't worry, because now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight children and one more on the way. But it's fine because I have a mod. So uh, this this house is just gonna be very full. <laughs> and I'm I'm just gonna this this is the big house. It's gonna be big. So that process is taking the thing and we are going to bank online transmit bank accounts and we're gonna go 2000 this time all right she needs to stop talking because there's some child that needs attention wasn't you fi fired Kendall well, she's still here. 
Maybe that's lucky because the butler seems to not being able to cope, cope really. Uh, now I need to find Shelby so I can give her money. Uh, down here somewhere she should be. Um, no, she doesn't have a bank account. Well, that's too bad. Then we just do this. We withdraw 2000. And then after that, we go and transmit money to household funds, playable, 2000. So we'll get it over that way. Now Ginger, of course, has less on her bank account. Uh, Shelby, where are you? There. 2000 was submitted, so the, the process is now done and Seth is now a foster child of Ginger and John Burb. Um, I'm gonna note that that's who fostered him. Uh, fostered by Ginger and John. On Monday and like I I actually think like it's still Monday right <laughs> so so he can have the, he can have the ching in this house and not in the orphanage um, it's a little cheaty but you know that's that's just what happened so I, sh I really should have just, uh, I don't know. <laughs> so now, now Ginger has an extra thousand. Oh my goodness, the money uh, back and forth. Uh, deposit a thousand. There you go. So much things to be doing. Okay, so now she has 5,400. Oh my goodness. Uh, Ginger. 5,400. Right. And my spreadsheet says she was due on Sunday with her baby, but it's Monday now. I don't know. All my pregnancies seems to have like been delayed for some reason. I don't understand how that happened. But I'm sure she's going to have the baby soon. Um, with Lucy... I accidentally uh, went to a community lot and since I have community time uh, when you go to a community lot and you get home you don't get home right away you get like a little symbol on your sim saying they are away and I don't think that her pregnancy um, progressed during all that time so so her pregnancy was delayed but I don't know what happened with Ginger because I don't think I, I went anywhere with her. But, you know, I can't be sure. Maybe I did. <laughs> right, here's the bills. Um, we are having a very busy day. Where is Seth even? Okay. Seth, you need to choose a bed. Do you want this bed or this bed? <laughs> I think he's wearing a gray shirt, so I think he's gonna uh, take that bed. And since you're jumping on that bed, you can jump on this bed instead. There you go. Didn't I move a door over here? Didn't I put a door here? Yes, I did. And then I forgot to do this. There. <laughs> that's, that's all I had to do. Jump on this bed. Oh, Shelby is playing with Juliet. Well, that's cute of you. That's very nice of you to play with our children while we're on here. Uh, bed ownership on this bed. What are you doing? 
there. And I think Ginger should serve some food because Brittany is also starving. So serve lunch. Let's do the grandma's chicken soup, comfort soup, because it's nice. And Gavin, what are you doing with your life? You are uh, due to work soon. Yeah, just enjoy yourself, I think. Well, he wants to study about parenting because he just became a parent. Oh no, what is happening over here? Is Death going to come and get our cat? I think, I think it was the cat. Oh no, the cat. Little Spooky is getting to be a ghost. Oh no. Oh. Okay, here lies Spooky. Well, okay. Well, I kind of forgot they had a cat, to be honest. Um, Gavin wants to get a kitten. <laughs> okay. So, um, uh, let's, let's get one then. I guess. It's fine. Let, let's the cat died. Let's get a new one. <laughs> but then study uh, parenting. I miss the whole fetching of the cat thing that the death was doing. Oh, didn't get to see uh, the the cat spooky get taken away. But he's in a better place right now stuff okay so kitten it was so we have four kittens to choose from i think there was no more kittens yes so i'm going to randomize because you know decisions is not really my thing so we get this one two three yes male kitten and do we have a page up somewhere with uh, cat names it's a male kitten so I'm gonna call him Milo there oh you should want to adopt Milo yes I am <laughs> And I'm gonna save because so much things are happening, so I can't keep track of, it, of all of them. When is Ginger's baby is coming? I don't know. I think she got her second baby bump at least. See? And she get at uh, that awful like that hair isn't awful. Well it is, actually. <laughs> because the texture and everything. It's not nice. <clears throat> but it's, it seems to be some kind of default hair that all my Sims get when they're pregnant, and I don't like that that happens. I don't understand why the hair has to change. <coughs> oh well. She wants to reach logic level one, but uh, you know, did you get some food? Doesn't seem like you did, sir. Did I? Did I not tell her to serve lunch? I think I did, but she never did. The bot butler should be serving lunch, but he, he's, you know, kind of overwhelmed with this house because it's awful. Where is the kitten? Here is the kitten. I think, Seth, you will uh, pick this cat up. <laughs> Give it uh, some snuggles. And I think, I wonder what Seth is thinking. Like, He's like, okay, well, I wasn't really thriving at the orphanage, but you know, this, I'm not, there's so much chaos here. I don't know <laughs> if this is a step up or down. We'll see about that. 
Uh, right, so the room also is... Oh my goodness, he doesn't even know people. If you have two smiley faces with the the parents, the, the foster parents, they will adopt you. So you can be either best friends with one of them or friends with both. Then you have two smiley faces. Uh, but he, he doesn't have any smiley faces. He doesn't even know Ginger. So... But I think I think I'm gonna allow um, Gavin and Brittany to adopt him if they if they get the smiley faces first. We'll see. <laughs> William has gained a point of charisma. Well, that is awesome. I haven't even introduced William. William is the son of John and Jennifer, and that is the the son that John brought over with him. He was just a baby. <laughs> Jennifer was quite upset. I mean, Jennifer uh, didn't like wish for children, but it is still her son. So he, she was a bit upset that John just took him. That was nice of him. And of course, she's uh, upset with him for like getting over here and being with with Ginger instead of her and everything. After all the years they've been through. And, you know, they have um, four children together. And so Jennifer is like, John, what the F? <laughs> oh, well, this is The Sims 2. Stuff like that happens all the time. Oh, uh, there's a carpool. Whose carpool is this? Th that must be Gavin's par carpool. Go on. Go to work. Why won't you put the book in the bookcase? Why is everyone so sloppy in this house? <laughs> They're all sloppy. Are they all this sloppy? Ginger is not that sloppy. And Seth is kind of neat, actually. So <laughs> maybe Seth will have to be the one that... Um, fixes like everything is that what they got why they got him that's not nice <laughs> oh well what are you gonna do Gavin is off to work like this house it, it really is the eyesore of the neighborhood they have been doing extensions to the house without any regards of how it looks and they have this uh, old car that someone started working on but never finished and then they never take this out for some reason and then they have all the kids stuff over here so the other ones they are like well we are the posh neighborhood we're trying to be so you are um, disrupting our image <laughs> we could we could have a nice neighborhood here next to the church and the retirement home but you are just an eyesore they don't like it <laughs> but what are they going to do they uh, like the news of state they pay their bills so there's nothing to be done Oh no. Brittany, you should uh, kiss or go like that. Uh, you know, you should pee and get to bed. <laughs> I usually do that. Like uh, when I was growing up, they, uh, my parents often said that phrase, like kiss or go like that, uh, which means like, pee and go to bed. And I, I, in my head, I often say that to my sims and I make sure that they first pee and then go to bed so that they don't wake up in the night uh, having to pee. Wait, wait, who was she calling? I thought she was calling Seth. Oh, she... <laughs> All right, so little um, Diana Goth calls for John for some reason. Are they related some... Oh. Yes, they are related somehow. That's his granddaughter. 
um, but he's not at home. <laughs> I misread it and thought he was she was calling for Seth, but she wasn't. Although she could be. They they are also related because Seth is the daughter of Cassandra, so they're cousins. Right now, but uh, if he gets adopted, that family tie will be severed. But I have decided that, like, I will do that uh, if if it's a child. If he turns into teens, then then I will not do it, and I might not do it even so because I like the family tree to be like it is, but. You know, sometimes life happens. Oh, here's an interesting bit. So, uh, Cassandra has a son called Cornelius Goth. And, um, and he is the heir of the Goth mansion. But I was contemplating what happens if Cornelius dies without getting in, like, producing an heir because he is not very interested it seems to be uh, romantically involved with uh, anyone or getting a baby or anything so like he's just a teen so far but you know it, it doesn't seem like he will be uh, interested in all that so what happens if he doesn't like ever produce an heir I think the goth mansion would go to Davis here uh, but Davis is the foster child of Mary Sue Lothario. Because she married Don. Um, that's the whole thing. Like Davis is uh, really taking after Don too because they're both Roman sims. Um, I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> so they get along very well. But seeing as he's already a teen, they will not like adopt him. They will just keep him um, as a foster child. What is going on now? Oh, it, it is John getting home. I, I was like, what is happening? He did not get a promotion, of course, because he still needed cleaning skill points. But he wants to ask a sim on a date. I think Ginger, she wants to woohoo in bed. So, like, maybe maybe she invites him to do that first. After she finished eating. And John, where are you going? We will ask him to join. Why, why don't I have the option? What is what are you doing? Oh, he's going to sleep. No, you, you should be uh, relaxing. Because uh, Ginger wants to do a woohoo. Oh, maybe he's too tired and she is too tired. What? Okay, so they, they can maybe do that later i don't know oh no the child is crying who who can help <laughs> ginger no uh i mean Brittany is not doing too well either it's almost as if she is pregnant uh, you know she might be she did something with, with uh, Gavin before. I didn't get to see if they just woohooed or tried for baby. You know, they might have gotten themselves pregnant again. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> this this mod uh, is called Lot Full of Sims. I don't know if it's out there anymore. I just had it in my old downloads folder. And uh, it, it can get crazy. <laughs> because suddenly the, there's no cap on how many sims you can have on that lot. Because it's called lot full, lot full of sims. Anyway, the workday feels long and no one seems to be working well. 
a co-worker suggested midwork five minute dance party. Well, uh, <laughs> I usually choose stay seated for this. Uh, what does Gavin do? Yeah, I think he's gonna stay seated. Gavin thinks the silent dancers are pretty silly. Oh, they were having like music. They were dancing with it, without music. Um, he stays seated. Even when the rest of the team gets up and begins dancing. Gavin continues to work. The dance break lasts longer than five minutes and Gavin is sad that everyone else seems to be having so much fun. He loses some music and dance enthusiasm. Oh no. I don't really care about the enthusiasm. You can work it up so that when you are in in the zone, um, you you get like you're in platinum mode. But I I don't really I don't, don't really see the benefits. Oh my goodness! Everyone is just asleep. What is Seth doing? He wants to ask for homework help. Could he ask the butler? Uh, well, he's he's not going to right now because he's going to sleep apparently. Everyone is tired. Why, why is everyone tired in my game? <laughs> what is going on? I don't know. Oh well. That is what is happening. So, um... Alright, so William has uh, woken up the parents here. And he he's tired. What? Okay. Put 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 William in the crib and continue sleeping then. I'm trying not to uh, uh, scan the pregnancy because it tells me how many babies there are and I want that to be a surprise. But you know, when is she ever going to have the baby? <laughs> I can't really deal with this. Uh, well, everyone aged up and I, I need to fix Seth because he's in the wrong numbers. Okay, oh, there we go. There, my spreadsheet has been uh, ordered. So John is 56 now. Gavin is 34. Ginger is 33. And Brittany is 27. Seth is nine. William is five. How is he five? All right, okay. <laughs> Juliet is four. And Bruno is two and Bruno should be uh, out of aging now, I think. We'll see if that happens. Where is he even? I think he's down here. Yeah. Okay, he's asleep. We'll just wait until something happens. Juliet is awake and she wants to be potty trained and learn to walk and everything. And the butler is going to hold her now. Poor butler. He, do he didn't know what he signed up for when he took this job. <laughs> and he was just holding her and putting her down. Well, thank you. Okay, who can do anything? Brittany, you can try and potty train Juliet or something. Oh my goodness, here's Jennifer. What are you doing here? Well, she's just walking by, looking angrily over it to the house, I bet. Meddling butler? Wait. If you're gonna pick up the baby, then, you know, actually do stuff. <laughs> What's the point of just picking her up and putting her down? That's not, that's, there's no point to that. I don't, it, 
Okay, that's enough. I, I can't take it anymore. Uh, I don't understand why all my pregnancies are being stupid. So, uh, we can we can tell by this. We can see that Brittany is not pregnant. But Ginger is, and we can accelerate her pregnancy. I can't. I can't deal anymore. So there we go. Plop the baby. Oh my goodness. Do I have names for her? Uh, I don't. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Well, we have time to fix that. So uh, let's see. Like Ginger in and of herself do not have any grandparents. But John does. So we can see we have... Benjamin Burb, we already have a Benjamin over here. Uh, we have Susan. Uh, we have Anastasia. And I think we should start with Anastasia if it's a girl. Anastasia. How did you spell that? Anastasia. With an S. So Anastasia or a Susan. Susan Burb, um, yeah, but these names have already been used, so if it's a boy, we are going to do the name lettering thing. Why did I save there? There, so we are once again on the letter U, really? I must recheck. Yes, it seems that we are. So then I'm gonna go to my little tab here and search for name on U. And what did I say? What if it was only for a boy, I think, it said yes, because we had names for a girl. So we could have Ulf, Urban, Erno, Ulrik, Uwe, Umar. I'm gonna go with Ulf. Ulf or Erno, I think. There. Now I have the names <laughs> all set up in the spreadsheet in case I forget them. Um, what are you doing? Okay. We should ask Shelby to leave. She doesn't need to see all this nonsense. Um, say goodbye to Shelby. There you go. Finally, the baby is due. I'm gonna have to keep a better track of uh, my Sims uh, pregnancies because I don't know what happened exactly, but it, they seem they seem to be something something is con going on. Uh, only one baby is coming. Who's this gonna be? Like Anastasia or what did I say? Ulf. A little extra bird baby because we needed more babies. Why did it turn blue? And it's a girl and it's Anastasia. Anastasia. Anastasia Burb is born. Oh my goodness. Alright, okay, let's um let's add her to my spreadsheet. Um Gonna do this. There. 
Anastasia Burb. There we go. And we can also add her in here if I can find her. The child of John and Ginger. So add a child with Ginger. And it's Anastasia Burb female. There we go. And I think that is going to mark the end of this stream. I was going to play until this baby was born. Um, I didn't say it, but I said it in my head. <laughs> so. I already saved, but I'm saving again, and I can... I think she has black hair, wait. We need to properly inspect this child. Alright. No, she has brown hair and brown eyes. Okay. That's fine. Anastasia for baby. Okay. <laughs> Because we, we need we need images and why do I keep saving okay well now we are going over to a twitch uh, to see who is who is streaming is someone streaming the sims 2 that would be awful. awesome not awful uh, overwatch 2 okay sims 2 And it's only me. Oh well. Uh, then Stone Princess is streaming The Sims 4, it seems. So let's raid her. If I can find my OBS again. It went away. There. So. <laughs> thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. And until next time, have a super duper time, stay safe, take care, and stay out of trouble, and, you know, take your medicine. I don't know. <laughs> take care now. Bye-bye.